the one thing they do is they play defense, bro. Oh, God. they they yeah. sit they and sit down on here's, defense. And here's real. here's the big thing that has happened uh, since they got back home. Yeah. It's they couldn't score against Cleveland at all, and most of these teams and. Most of these teams, and we found this to be true, very very similar of the Grizzlies, and especially young teams, right? Your offense is fueled by your defense. Yep. Yeah. They need to be out in space, and they need to be playing like that. So if they can hunker down defensively, now they can get out, and now they've got some space, and now they're th- those guys are dynamic in the open court, right? Mm-hmm. Same way with the Grizzlies. If How many times do we talk about this? We can't do, be doing this. We run a play, you run a play. No. We want that Because if you get defense. into the half court, it's a mess. Young teams are typically like this, too. They don't know. Yeah. And, and, and Cleveland, though, interestingly enough, is exactly like these teams do mirror each other in that way. So when they had the crowd on their side and they were like getting the stops and they're getting out and they're slamming. You remember at the very beginning of that game, uh-huh. you know, Donovan Mitchell has that spike at the very beginning. And it's like, now I'm scoring. You're having to take it out onto the basket. Now you're having to play against my set defense. Yep. Cause they're both so big, both teams that playing against either one of their set defenses, you're not going to be able to, yeah. you're not going to be able to make your way. Thus, these teams have scored in the 80s. Yep. It's been real 90s, 90s. The road 90s basketball. teams. Yeah, it's been real 90s basketball. Has everybody, I think every. I think the road team has scored in the 80s every time. Because I think Orlando did not break 90 in the first two games. That's no. Long. Right? No, they didn't. I and know. I don't think. Oh, yeah. I, and, and Cleveland. I mean, Cleveland had 29 points in the second half of that game this weekend. 29. Yeah, it's been. It's it been, was. Been 83. Yep. 97. 86. 96. And then. 83, yeah. So nobody's broken 90 yeah. on the road. When you clamp, you clamp on the road. And yet, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Not crazy. even 100. 90. Now, and, and, and look, this is why you could have some hope if you were Orlando and that's you could make crazy. some tweaks. How about this? Look at the highest point total Cleveland's had. Even when they won at home, their highest point total is 97. 97. 97 whereas, whereas Orlando just dropped 121 and 112 in their two home games. So... Kind of looks like Orlando might have figured some stuff out, but we'll see, obviously, when they get back to Cleveland. The Chris Vernon Show, presented by Caesars Sportsbook, live weekdays at noon.